A dedicated high-speed rail system provides the opportunity for passengers to travel in a safer environment on time uh, with less hassle of check-in, check-out like you go through the airports. Uh, this will be the first rail line of its kind uh, in the Western Hemisphere, so I think it is something that would be really great and something Texas could brag on for having the first one and having the best one. Well, we're a medical needs um, foster family, and so we do a lot of traveling. We take our foster kids to Texas Children's in Houston um, very frequently, uh, one or two times a week, and then we also travel to the Dallas area for family visits. Um, for our foster kids and so having a train would be very convenient, it would be a quicker way, a little more relaxing, enjoyable ride, a train ride is exciting, a uh, car ride is not. <laughs> A few years ago, I was actually against this project because I think I got a lot of wrong information about it, cutting off landowners. And a few years back, I, I started working in Europe, in the south of France and in Spain, and I ride the trains in Europe all the time, and it's, it's amazing. It's just, it's so easy. But I could just walk up and buy a ticket to my destination first class. I have Wi-Fi access, and I want to know why I can't do that on this side of the Mississippi River. I want to take it. I can't stand sitting in traffic on 45, and I want to be able to get to Houston in 90 minutes. I want to go down there and stop for the day. I want to visit friends, and then I want to come back home to Dallas. It'll bring jobs. Um, America in general needs high-speed rail. It's clean, it's environmentally friendly, um, it's fast and it provides just a better way to travel. Oh my goodness, so I'm really excited because I think it would be a great thing for college students, uh, especially like when going home during the holidays. I hear there's a lot of accidents and I would be beyond grateful if they built this amazing train because I wouldn't have to drive, I wouldn't have to take the mega bus, it would take like six hours and I, it's a lot safer. Oh, it'd be good for Texas. Texas knows probably more than most states that uh, Business is run by individuals, by corporations, generally do a lot better than businesses uh, run by the government. And my family's been in this, or on this very spot since the Civil War. I've lived here a lifetime. They came through about 25 or 30 years ago in the 80s, and I was dead set against it. But this time, I pretty well said, great, from the very first second. I'm, I'm all for it, and it surprises me even. But of course, I'm older, wiser. Uh, I think it'll be a, a very good asset for Texas. Well, I've dealt with oil and gas people, have not been treated well through the years at different times, but uh, exemplary, just one word.